Henry Cavill has just humiliated Amazon after their nonsensical attempt to wokeify Warhammer's perfect and most loved lore. Yes, we're talking about the Warhammer 40K show under Henry Cavill's command, and his bold refusal to bow to Amazon's push for, let's say, a little extra wokeness. Spoiler alert is, this isn't just about a show. It's about an entire cinematic universe Amazon planned, and it's already toddling on the brink just because of Henry's stance. Now from the outside, it sounds like Amazon has all the pieces, massive IP, massive budget, and a massive fan base. But behind the scenes, there's an escalating clash between Cavill, Amazon, and Warhammer's original creators, Games Workshop. And this isn't just your typical creative disagreement. This is a showdown over the core identity of Warhammer and who controls it. So do you correct people? Um, I don't necessarily... <laughs> I, I am effusive about getting the uh, being being loyal to the source material. Let's put it that way. Okay. Yeah. So yes, yes you do. <laughs> so what's the core issue? It all boils down to Amazon's content policy. Amazon wants Warhammer to follow the formula that's worked for them elsewhere. Think representation quotas, preset diversity rules, and broad socially conscious narratives. Now, usually, these guidelines are easy enough for Hollywood producers to work with. But Warhammer is different. Warhammer's lore is dark, complex, and unapologetically gritty. It's a universe that thrives on chaos. And honestly, it's not meant to be a polished, sanitized story. Amazon's team, however, wants it to be marketable to a broader audience. And here's where the Games Workshop clash comes in. Games Workshop holds the license, so they aren't just going to roll over for Amazon's demands. For years, they've nurtured the Warhammer universe, protecting its unique, grimdark lore. To Games Workshop, every faction, every storyline, and even the absence of certain characters, like female space marines, are all part of the lore. They're not just gender or race gaps. They're intentional choices meant to keep Warhammer's authenticity intact. So, Amazon, flush with success from the boys and Invincible, wanted to take things to a whole new level with Warhammer 40K. Mind you, it's a legendary franchise that's captivated fans for years with its dark, immersive lore and Amazon had more than a single show in mind. They were eyeing a vast cinematic universe, a Warhammer version of Marvel or Star Wars, with interconnected shows and movies spilling onto our screens regularly. This isn't small time stuff, they wanted it to be the Warhammer era. And who better to lead that charge than one of the franchise's most dedicated fans, Henry Cavill. But there's a major twist. While Amazon thought Cavill would be their ticket to winning over Warhammer's fiercely loyal fan base, they clearly underestimated just how loyal Henry is to Warhammer's authentic lore. So it's no surprise that things between him and Amazon have been a little tense. Henry Cavill isn't your typical Hollywood leading man. Beyond his blockbuster roles, he's famously a huge fan of gaming and Warhammer in particular. He doesn't just play characters in iconic franchises and's a total gamer, diving into titles like Total War, Warhammer 2, and The Witcher 3, whenever he has time. He's even mentioned his Warhammer addiction in a Father's Day Instagram post. Cavill's as much a part of this fan base as anyone. Amazon didn't just cast him as the lead, they handed him an executive producer role. Think of him as this Warhammer universe's potential Kevin Feige. It's a big job and the stakes are massive. But Henry's no Hollywood puppet. He's not afraid to push back, especially when it comes to Amazon's creative suggestions. And that's exactly what's happening. Now let's get to the heart of the issue. Reports have been swirling about the creative clash between Henry and Amazon. It turns out that Amazon has a bit of a reputation for guiding the creative process, with policies that many argue put diversity quotas and agenda pushing over story authenticity. And when it came to Warhammer, one of Amazon's big demands was the inclusion of female space marines and female custodians, a move that would be a significant lore deviation. But here's the thing, Henry isn't budging. According to insiders, he shut down every attempt Amazon's made to inject what he believes are unnecessary changes into the franchise. This is a universe that prides itself on detailed lore and established factions. Female custodians? That's just not part of the story. And Cavill has reportedly made it clear. He'll walk before he compromises Warhammer's integrity just to satisfy these demands. Amazon isn't taking this lightly, of course. They're a huge corporation with billions at stake, and they're all in on the Warhammer franchise, but they're also on a strict timeline. According to IGN, Amazon has until December 2024 to reach a deal with Henry and Games Workshop, the powerhouse behind Warhammer's lore and intellectual property. If they can't iron things out, not a single show or movie will make it to production. All those grand plans will collapse before they even begin. So why doesn't Amazon just go over Cavill's head? The reality is they can't afford to lose him. First, they've already publicized him as the show's executive producer. 
building a ton of hype around Cavill's fan-first approach to the project. Second, he's the main reason fans even have any confidence in Amazon's Warhammer venture. And third, time's not on Amazon's side. Replacing Cavill now would mean not just finding another leading man, but an entirely new creative direction. Amazon's only option? Persuade him to bend. But Cavill's show no signs of caving. Now let's talk about why Henry's resisting so hard. Amazon, like many studios, has its own inclusion policy playbook. It's an exhaustive guide that requires production teams to check boxes on everything from casting to character identity, supposedly to ensure diversity and inclusivity. And while that sounds good on paper, the effect on storytelling can be pretty severe. For example, the guidelines recommend that teams with three or more leaders, directors, producers, etc., should ideally have 30% female and 30% underrepresented individuals. And that goal will rise to 50% by 2024. As far as casting, they're asked to match characters' gender identity, race, and more to specific demographics. As you can imagine, for a franchise as lore-intensive as Warhammer, these requirements become a tightrope act of keeping Amazon happy while maintaining a story that fans love. When it comes to fans, it is a fan's right mm -hmm. to have whatever opinion they want to have. You're never going to be the exact person who they had in their head or who they played on Witcher 3, for example. I don't necessarily consider that toxic. I just consider that passionate. Mm -hmm. But Henry Cavill's not your typical go-along-to-get-along producer. To him, Warhammer deserves to be more than a checkmarked list of social messages. It's a brutal, dark universe, and that gritty authenticity is what drew fans in. Cavill's refusal to go along with the guidelines could be Warhammer's saving grace. Or, if Amazon gets its way, it's undoing. Now here's the bottom line. If Amazon keeps pushing for strong female space marines, inclusive custodians, or other lore-bending additions, Cavill's going to fight back. And honestly, fans are cheering him on. To him, this is more than just another acting gig. It's a battle for the integrity of a franchise that's been around since the 80s. Amazon's strategy of forcing demographics onto a complex universe is backfiring in spectacular fashion, and Cavill is refusing to play along. Amazon may not have realized just how serious Henry was about keeping Warhammer's legacy intact, but they're learning the hard way that Cavill isn't just going to slap his name on the project and coast along. As long as he has a say, Warhammer fans can expect something authentic, not just another reskinned Hollywood product. In the end, Amazon might have bitten off more than it can chew with Henry Cavill. Fans are excited, sure, but only as long as Cavill remains true to the Warhammer they know and love. If Amazon decides to steamroll over him, it risks not only losing him, but also alienating an entire fan base. Would Amazon really go that far just to push a message? Only time will tell. But for now, it looks like Henry Cavill is doing everything he can to protect Warhammer from being modernized into something the fans barely recognize. And if that means an epic showdown between Henry Cavill and Amazon, we're here for it. Because let's face it, if anyone can humiliate a billion dollar behemoth like Amazon, it's the guy who's practically the face of Warhammer himself. Fans would rather see Warhammer shelved than see it turned into a soulless cash grab. And it looks like Cavill agrees. Warhammer fans don't just want another mainstream sci-fi or fantasy universe. They want Warhammer. They want to see the gritty, dark worlds and characters they've read about for years, not a reimagined, sanitized version. And Cavill is holding the line here, refusing to let the lore be compromised. So, as it stands now, Cavill isn't just fighting for creative control. He's fighting for Warhammer itself, for the fans who want to see the lore respected, and against a corporate machine that's at risk of collapsing its own creation before it even starts.